Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tour on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And guess what? Today is an awesome tutorial, and this is what we're doing right here. If you didn't see it in the intro for some strange reason, it's actually really cool. It's um, completely made within After Effects. No third-party plugins except for that flare, but you don't even need the flare for this effect. It just looks awesome. But anyway, um, I'm going to be including the uh, elegant light streaks friggin project file if you want to download it it's all for free at checkit.com so go download it right now or I'm gonna be so mad I swear I'm gonna be so mad okay I'm not mad but if you want you can give this video a like and I'd be very happy because likes help us out a lot also don't forget to leave a comment because I'm leaving all of my favorite comments at the end of the video so uh, yeah stay tuned for that as well so Anyway, um, let's open up After Effects and get right to the tutorial. So, on this left side, you'll see that we have this blank canvas area. And if you go down to this little button down here, we can create a new composition. And I'm just going to make mine 10 seconds, 30 frames per second, full 1080p, that's 1920 by 1080. That is full HD, so sexy. And to check it, doesn't play around, so that's why I'm using those settings. Hit OK. And right away, we're going to get right to it. So, let's right click, go New solid and let's just call this BG for background so uh, there's two backgrounds that I included in the actual thing that I'm giving you but I guess I'll just use the second one that I didn't show in the intro so let's uh, go to a ramp click and drag it on to BG and now let's just make a really simple ramp let's do kind of a lighter dark gray and then go down to a darker dark gray and we'll go to a radial ramp amp up let's just type in 300 for the scatter so we get rid of all that nasty banding and let's actually make it a little darker cuz we like them dark am I right ladies <laughs> oh, stupid joke okay, anyway drag it down Oh, that sounded gay on my part too not that I have anything about gay I'm not gay I have a girlfriend anyway oh, <laughs> getting back to the top I get so distracted okay let's right click go new this next part's very important go new Null object, and we're going to use a null object to control our light streaks because when uh, well, I'll get to, when I when we cross that bridge, I'll tell you. But you're going to want to create a new null, and we're going to hit Y, of course, and we're just going to put the point, click and drag it down to the middle. Okay, so now let's go back to our regular tool, right click again, go new solid, and name this particles. Actually, just particle. Okay, so. You can either go over here and type in particle, but I'm going to go up to here. Well, you have to select particle first. Go up to Effect, Simulation, CC Particle Systems 2. This comes with After Effects, and that's why this tutorial, tutorial is so powerful, you guys. This is all created within After Effects. So cool. Okay, so follow these next steps very carefully. Drop down the producer. We're just going to do a radius of 0.3, a radius of point two for the y oh and that point three was for the x by the way i don't know if i have to point that out but anyway drop down the physics and we're going to go to direction normalized and then we're going to go down to velocity we're going to go zero for the well wow that was a tongue twister zero for velocity <laughs> say that five times fast gravity we're going to put down to point three direction we're just going to be safe and put it down to zero Extra, we're going to go 0.1, and we're going to drop down the particle layer, and we're going to keep it on line. You guys can play around with that, but what I found is that line is probably the best. And for the max opacity, let's just bring it down to 11. 11. That's my lucky number. That's Larry Fitzgerald's number. I don't know if you guys watch football, but Larry Fitzgerald's awesome. Okay, anyway, now for the birth color, and I guess this is parts up to you. I'm going to make mine white. Because we like them white, right, right ladies? <laughs> Stupid joke again. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to make this next one kind of a manila freaking yellowish. Actually, more yellowish. Yeah, cool. And I'm just going to keep the transfer mode at composite. Some people like add. I like composite. Okay, so here's where things get very strange. <laughs> For the position, we're going to alt-click the position. Then we're going to go down to the null object and hit P to bring up its position. And now you're going to see in the producer settings with position, you're going to see this little pick whip. 
we're going to pick whip the particle system's position into the null object's position. Okay? And what that does, when you click off of it, it puts the particles right with the null object. See, watch. Now, if I grab the null object and drag, boom, the particles follow it. Very cool for what we are going to want to do, and I'll explain it <laughs> when we cross that bridge again, sorry. But now what we're going to do is we're going to alt-click on the positions keyframe stopwatch thing. We're going to type in wiggle. Well, not, not quiggle. <laughs> Sounds like a Pokemon. Go, quibble, fine whip. Okay, so we're going to do 1, 600. And what this is going to do... Is do some, it's just going to add motion to the null object, just random motion, and just send this thing all over the place like a Disney star at the beginning of all the Disney movies. But, yeah, this is a cool tutorial. It's not Disney. Actually, Disney is cool. Shut up. Hate you. No, I really do love you guys. Okay, anyway, look how cool that is. It's just dancing around with little to no effort as long as you know what you're doing. Okay, so, now what we're going to want to do is uh, just pretty this thing up a little bit. I mean, it's cool and everything, but let's add a glow to it. Let's go over to glow, type in glow in the effects and presets. Go find it. There's stylized glow. I'm just going to double click it because I'm lazy. And that just kind of fattens it up a little bit. You know we like them fat, right, ladies? <laughs> wow, that's three. That's a three zinger on the same stupid joke. <laughs> so I guess you guys can uh, mess with the glow settings if you want. I actually like how... The glow looks just normally, so I'm going to keep it right there. So, now what are we going to do to kind of make this thing more interesting? Well, I'll tell you, random person, I don't know. Let's hit Control. Well, okay, first select particle. Then we're going to hit Control D twice to duplicate it twice. And now, it kind of changes it up, but now I, we've, we're finally crossing that bridge. Now, why would I do this? Why would I create a null object? and not just duplicate it three times. Well, if you noticed, it changed the position at the beginning of each uh, duplicate. But since they're all parented to the null object's position, they're all still located right on that center dot, no matter what. But if I was to duplicate each one without having them um, locked up to this null object, they would all just be dancing around the screen like crazy. Which that might be the effect you're going for, but that's not what I showed you at the beginning. So. Um, and actually, I just saw the stopwatch. It kind of scares me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Control S. I'm actually just going to save this quick. We're going to go to Desktop. Where's, let's just call this um, Elegant Streaks. Yo, enter. Okay, so now if uh, this crashes, we're safe. <laughs> I, I, I forgot to tell you guys that. I never save on screen because normally it doesn't really matter but I'm just gonna tell you guys always save okay so I just kind of explained that to you now here's what we're gonna do to kind of give it more depth let's um let's hit P for position let's just drop and put this one up and move it over a little bit we'll go to this one P for position we'll bring it whoa what what was that that was like a freaking fireworks people are going crazy goodness gracious Drop it down a little bit. Okay, so I just spread these out a little bit. You see that? They're all next to each other now, but they look cool. And now, what I'm going to want to do is maybe change the gravity on one of them. So let's go to the middle one, and let's go to the physics, and let's just go down to, let's go point 0.2 gravity. Nah, let's go down. Let's go point 0.4 gravity. Yeah, that's much better. So now if we hit zero you get a much more interesting look. And I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's doing its thing. Since this is full 1080p, it's uh, kind of strenuous on the computer. But yeah, it's cool though, right? I wasn't lying when I said that to just check it doesn't play around, okay? So that's good enough. So you guys can just kind of see it. I'm going to bring this back here. Hit zero again and hit zero so you guys can see. And check that out, guys. Look how interesting that is. It's so sexy. <laughs> so I guess the last thing I got to show you is uh, parenting up that, um, what's it called? The flare. So let's right-click, go New, 
solid once again. Let's just call this flare. Let's go over to here. And I mean, you can either go here and type in flare, or you can go up to here, go effect, video copilot, optical flares. This step is not necessary. You guys saw how cool it looked already. But since I did it in the intro, I'll show you guys how I did it. So for this, um, the position X, Y, we're going to hit Alt, do the stopwatch. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go down to the null object. We're going to hit P for position. And then go up and just pick whip the position. Go down and parent it to that same null object. And now we can make this a little more sexy. Let's do on transparent. If you don't have the blending modes, let's hit F4. And they'll be there. And let's do a nice screen. And now let's go up to the options and pick something that we like. Let's just go here. What should we grab? Hmm. There's so many cool ones. Uh, let's do Organica. Okay. And then uh, you can, you know, hit Alt. Do another stopwatch on here. Let's go wiggle for the brightness. Let's do a nice 5 comma 15 brightness and then let's go over to where is it the flicker let's do a little bit of flicker like eight and then okay now let's uh actually the brightness is a lot let's go to brightness and actually do like three and go up to here. Starts there. Now let's drop her. Let's drop her down a little bit. It's kind of intense. You don't want it too much. There we go. Hit zero, and let's see what we just did. Ooh, cool. And with that, guys, I just showed you guys the basics on how I created that intro. If you don't like this one as much, I'm sorry. I'll include the one that I did in the intro. It has both of these backgrounds. It has everything. Um, if you guys are too lazy to make this yourself, you can go download it at chichichekit.com. Or if you just want to see my work, just go to chichichekit.com. Do it. I love you forever. And also, leave a comment because uh, I'm definitely going to be putting all my favorite comments at the end of the video. So be sure to check that out. And I'm going to hit zero and... Uh, yeah, look at how awesome that is. Very elegant, and I'm very proud. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's some big fireworks going on. It's not 4th of July or anything. I don't even know why there's fireworks. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. It's always a pleasure. And um, I guess I will see you next Friday for Effects Friday. So thanks so much for watching. Peace.